<laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Was ready for a little bit of that four-star challenge, man. Four-star challenge, of course. To get... Wait, how much time do we have left on all these? No, we still got plenty of time. Okay. Uh, well, the four-star challenge to, uh... To, to, to... Wait, where is it? I thought it was down here. But this is, uh, six stones. Uh... Is it? Oh, no, 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 that's right. It's just when you complete it all. Okay. All right. I'm a fool. Uh, hopefully no one was in here to see that part of the stream. <laughs> but yeah, four-star challenge, you get this 10% tier 5 class catalyst crystal. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to uh, hit up a tweet real quick. It's my birthday. Havotic Gaming, happy birthday to you. Um, One sec here, guys. Dearest stretch Marvel Champions. Uh, all right, let me see. Mm, time to hit up that four-star Cavalier challenge. Yes. Um, no. No. God. How many times am I gonna type that out wrong? You think by now I'd have it down, but I don't. Anyway, tweet. Uh, Cairo sending over two, saying help needed. Read last, please. Uh, there is no last message. That is your only message. Uh, if you do have help with something, you might have to type it out again, because... Oh, here we go. Uh, is the Magneto in Labyrinth updated or pre-buff? I want to take him with Fury, but if he is post-buff, he will be bleed immune. In the long-form content, like Labyrinth and Abyss and stuff like that, champions don't get updated. Um, he does have a unique Labyrinth ability against Metal Champions, so you don't want to bring a Metal Champion. But Fury is... Uh, he's not Metal, right? So, uh, he doesn't have that crazy bleed resistance and stuff. Um, someone back me up just in case, but uh, no, that's, I'm fairly certain that's how it works. Uh, that's how it's always worked in the past, at least. So, should should be that way with uh, with all champions. You can see the same thing in Realm of Legends too. It's all of the uh, the legends, the Realm of Legends, Labyrinth of Legends, and Abyss of Legends. It all stays the same there. Uh, but thank you for the two, dude. Oh, and excuse me, hold on. We need to uh, take care of a little, a little something real quick too. Before we hop into this quest. <laughs> Slap. Thank you, man. Good luck on your abyss journey. Uh, Alright, let's begin, everybody. Easy. Send over buck 50 with a salt shaker. Same Brian, I once took a 10-hour flight next to a baby. I didn't think it was possible to cry for 10 hours straight. Even the baby was impressed. <laughs> okay. Alright, boo. By the way, EZ, dude, last night when you were talking about that mutant combat event, uh, I, I, you might have even said it at some point, maybe I just missed the follow-up message, but it turns out there was two mutant combat events uh, that happened back-to-back. -back. That's why I was so confused. Because uh, after the stream, like, I went to go dump my energy, and I was just looking around at the events, and I was like, wait, what the heck? It is mutant combat. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, the first quest I know is science, and I'm not sure... My best science champs are for this. Someone did say before that, like, Void and Torch were good. But that was, was like, high levels. I don't know if the poison's going to be too much for them now. Um, so, I don't know. I'll, I'll toss them in there. Uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I will throw She-Hulk in there. Maybe I should throw... You know, maybe I should do Mr. Fantastic and Synergy, actually. Maybe that should be a thing. Um, I mean, it'll it'll help. And Mr. Fantastic, I mean, he is a science champ after all. I need someone for the boss. The boss is Deadpool with, with Biohazard. Uh, and I cannot use uh, a robot either. So... Who do I want to use for that? Let me see. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at, at these class types. As if they are going to help. Uh, but that's what I'm doing. 
Um, I could bring in. Oh, no, 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 never mind. She's a robot. Duh. I mean, ghost. I could do with ghost. Uh, I don't have suicides on, but still could do it with ghost. Uh, could bring mags in there. Could bring Omega Red. Um, Coloss My Colossus isn't really leveled up. Maybe I'll just go with Omega Red. Hold on, let me let me check. Is it ninety percent resistant? Um, it is. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I don't have that point in coagulate. That worries me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Omega Red. Is four star uh is four star Omega Red good for that? Otherwise, like you know, I, I will just throw in ghost, but if anyone has done this. Do you know if you need the, the point and coagulate, or are you pretty much just good with the 90% resistance? Uh, Brian Crouch is sending over 10. Thank you, dude. Saying I have 5-star Symbiote Supreme and Red Mags. I can only take 1 to rank 5. And then I went and pulled 6-star Red Mags. So he's now a contender for rank 2. What should I do? Uh, my, my, my Lee? Is that how you say that? Bartholomew Grant? Um, oh man, that is tough. It it kind of depends on on what content you're looking to do. Uh I would I would look towards the uh like the variants if you're if you're trying to take on like the uh, the uh the villain variant or something like that, rank up a mags. Um his awakening ability I don't know, if your 5 star mags is awakened if you're close, if you're at all close to getting like a rank three, then I'd probably just go with the six star mags. But if you're not close to getting a rank three, and let's say your five star mags is awakened, then I would actually just rank up the five star mags. Um, personally, he gains the thing about Magneto is his power, like his special three. That's where it's where it's all at for Magneto. And uh, the higher the rank your champion is, the faster you're, you're, you gain power. It's subtle but noticeable. Um, so the five star would actually get to a rank three faster in addition to you having, you know, the awaken ability and things like that. But yeah, I mean, Magneto, uh, for the most part is going to be better than Sim Supreme, but at the same time, if you're taking on like the champion boss or something like that, well, then you go Sim Supreme or variant five, then you go Sim Supreme, but for variant six or most other areas of the game, go Magneto. Dude, thank you very much for the 10, though. Super generous of you. Corey sent over to St. Brian Grant, contest champion. You're early today. Very early. I am. Thank you, Corey. Uh, Hollow Skeleton also sent over 5 cent. I just rolled a featured calf for Psycho Man and got 5-star Strife. Uh, not bad, dude. <laughs> not bad at all. A lot of people would say that's the that's the better prize. So, nice, dude. Nice. Beaver, you can use I-Bomb. I don't have I-Bomb. Um... Yeah, he is. Just play slower. Okay. All right, for this boss. Use Clairvoyant. Hmm. Claire. Is she? Does she have the damage? Well, if someone said that this team's good already, then I'll, I'll just I'll just stick with this team. Uh, I wonder if I even need Void. Ah, whatever. Let's just go. Who cares? Let's just do it. All right, let's find a path. Um, so, I mean, if I go up the middle, the middle is the like the the middle takes away the 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 link, right? Yeah. Um, so maybe that would be better. Let me see though. Science node. Hackers inflicted with a permanent passive weakness, reducing their attack. Removed uh, when suffering from a non-damaging debuff. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'll probably just go that way. I gotta go through a torch. Um, that should be a little annoying, I suppose, but uh, all right at the same time. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's go that way. Why not? Let's roll. Make some adjustments if needed. Let's do it up. 
Uh, Runar Gretterson. Hope I didn't mess up your name too much. Saying tweet, tweet. Sure, dude. Um, let's see what we got here. I finally decided to do Abyss initial run after giving up waiting for Aegon, and these were my rewards. Pretty ironic after waiting all this time for Aegon. Would you say I should rank three Ghosts on Awakens? Dude, this is what everyone thought was going to happen to me. <laughs> Dang, man. Well, I mean, congrats on pulling him, but yeah, that's got to sting at the same time. Um, okay. I, I, I mean, yeah, if you're a Ghost player, I mean, rank three Ghosts. She's kind of ridiculous. Uh, when it comes to rank three in champs, you know, it's so situational. Everyone's situation is uh, is a bit different. Let me use She-Hulk for this first one. Everyone's situation is a little bit different, you know? So you got to think about your situation. What are you looking for? Are you looking for prestige? Because Unawakened Ghost is not going to give it to you. But if you don't care about prestige and you're just looking to smash through some other story content or whatever, uh, like Ghost is crazy good, yeah. So, it's totally just dependent on, on, on what you're looking for, but Ghost is a fantastic uh, option. Uh, and I wish I had uh, that option. Oh, man. oh wow, really? Whoops. <laughs> Looks like I evaded way too early on that. Oh, man. Wow, I'm getting clipped by everything right now. Off to a, uh, a terrific start, as per usual. Do the lunar event? You talking to me to do the lunar event? Uh, I don't know if you want to check the title or the thumbnail, but i uh, kind of busy doing a different event. So I will not be doing a lunar event, but thank you for the suggestion. Good old four star challenge. Maybe I should have thrown in a different champ for this. Um, let's keep that non-damaging debuff going. I mean, at least the willpower healing is nice for this. So that's good. If I can keep these Furies up, that would be mm, even better. Hoping, I'm really hoping that this Mr. Fantastic synergy... Uh, puts in a lot of work over the course of this quest. Because I really was not too big a fan of this science quest um, when I was going through on my, my higher level champs. Really? Dude, I gotta stop talking. Oh my god. I was not a big fan of this quest going through with my, uh, my five stars. So... Man, I fought this guy so many times during that Summoner Showdown event. And it looks like all of my abilities to fight Silver Surfer have gone out the window. Oh well. Thank you, Willpower. Let's keep it moving. Talking to someone in chat? Okay. Well, no worries then. Which iPhone do you have? Uh, iPhone 8 Plus. I found Skill Node the worst. Yeah, the Skill one was pretty garbage too. Wait till MSG finds out he's using his girlfriend. Oh man. Uh, he plays he plays uh his character so much better than I do. Um do I use pre-fight here? Wait, is it better to not use pre-fight because of Mr. Fantastic Synergy? Is that the way that works? You know what? I'll save pre-fight for elsewhere. Actually. Wait, a morning stream, or is this a hallucination? <laughs> no, this is indeed a morning stream. All right, let's see how this goes with the with the with the poison damage back. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I'm hoping. Okay, there's the poison. Okay, well, it's definitely doing something to me. Holy crap! Really? Dude, I am getting hit by absolutely everything. What is going on? Oh, man. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Maybe it's too early in the morning for this. <laughs> it's 
the only thing I could think of. Like, it wasn't even the beam that hit me. It was the, the first little hit that I thought I got out of the way of. That is crazy. Let's go, bud. Should be enough to kind of finish things off. Oh, that's right. That stun doesn't work, though. What about that? You gonna die, bud? Okay. He's more drunk than lags. Oh, man. I can assure you. It's 10.30 uh, a.m. <laughs> I'm not drunk. Look at that BG finally started his stream at a normal hour for us EU guys. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Welcome to the EU guys. Um, Alright, what's my best course of action for this fight? Um, hmm. I don't think I can tank a special one, can I? I might be able to survive a special one. You know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to try to heal up She-Hulk here. And if it doesn't work out, eh. Well, whatever. But I think I can tank this guy's special one. I'll just try to do it when he only has one Fury up. And then I'll get a, uh, a full life heal out of this. Um, just going to try not to take any damage uh, before that happens. I don't want him to use his special here. I'm going to try to stay away. Don't use your special, don't use your special, don't use your special. Okay, I gotta get rid of, t like, one or two of those Furies at least. Okay, there's one. There's two. Now hit me with a special one. Come on, bud. This is your time. Quick, quick, quick. No. So to get a permanent armor break on yourself, he has to have the Fury up. That's why I was trying to time things out just right. But of course, he didn't want to throw it. Okay, uh, well, let's try this again. Okay, I want to parry him. Oh. Okay, not exactly what I was going for, but you know what? It worked out. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, now, uh, now we're healing. So, we can play this fight kind of normal from here on out and be good. Uh, David sent it over Buck. Thank you, David. Let me, uh, check your message after this fight. Alright. It's nice having that healing. Backing things up. Only just play this normal style. Hmm. I guess it's better to use special twos when he's going to heal. Um, that healing does add up for sure. Then again, just getting more attack from the Furies is nice too. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I guess we'll go with the L2 since I'm here. Okay. Use that healing. Starting to pump a little bit of damage. Feeling good. Had a little bit of that reverse healing going. Sweet. Yeah, it's kind of a long fight, but... Uh, happy I went with She-Hulk here. Um... on myself. Nice. Okay. Alright. Uh, David. Saying, if you're a real man, do a three-star challenge. Well, something you don't know about me. 
<laughs> no. I was about to say, I'm a lady. I don't think anyone would believe that. Um, but yeah, thank you, dude. I'm not looking to be here for the next 10 hours, though. Four stars is good enough. What's up, KT? All right. Let's void this one up. Let's do it to it. So if you're poison immune, you don't get the node benefit. Uh, I was getting the node benefit. It just kind of blends in with... Um, She-Hulk there. I kind of hate fighting Torch. I don't know if I'm alone in that or what. But I kind of hate fighting this guy. Alright, so it is a little bit of healing with, with Void when only having one poison. That's nice. I can't believe I didn't use Void when I was going through this as my on my 5 star. But oh well. What are you going to do? It's doing okay damage for a 4 star. Until I keep getting hit by that. For some reason, I have the hardest time dexing this guy's L1 when playing with Void. Some champions I can do it, others I cannot. Void has always been one of those champs that I just struggle with. I'm gonna block it, screw it. Nice part is, I guess it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so it's not too big of a deal. You know what? We're gonna evade it this time. Or not. Just gonna watch him melt from here. Don't go away, debuffs. Okay. Anything other people feel when putting him as a defender in AQ? Uh, do you mean, uh, AW? Um, yeah, I mean, he's annoying. I, there's, there's way worse defenders, don't get me wrong. Like, there's way, 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 way worse defenders. He is, uh, not that bad. <laughs> he's just, he's one of those defenders that's like, I shouldn't die to you, but I get nervous because I'm not good at evading that special one. You know? But you know what? I don't even care if you throw your L2. Bring it. Pump a little bit of damage. Oof. Those blocked hits. They hurt when, uh... He's got the, uh, the attack up. Alright, you know what? This time I actually didn't want you to get to an L2. I said in my brain, don't dex. And what did my brain do? Dex. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, man. Of course I dexed. Oh, well. I'm over here doing three hit combos with a champ that I don't need to be doing three hit combos with. Probably should have used Void from the start on this guy anyway. With the, uh. Um. With the Petrify. But I'm just so used to using, uh, Torch against any and all Mystics these days, you know? Watch him melt from here. A little bit at least. Alright, let's hit him. Got 
clear the void now. Can you do a collector fight with five star Colossus, Surfer Ghost, and a six star Wasp? Um, it's possible to take down the collector with those champs, yes. Um, just having a six star, having any six star, for the most part at least, is pretty good for that fight because you're. The, the, that content is balanced around like five star champions at rank four, which is basically the equivalent of a six star champ. Um. But it's a tough fight, so, you know, everyone has a little bit of uh, different experience in this game. So you still might might find yourself uh, struggling, potentially. You're dexing the first of his L1 way too quickly, BG. Uh, for Torch, was I? Hmm, okay. You know, I never get to play Mr. Fantastic. I think I'm actually going to play Mr. Fantastic here. But I'm not even entirely sure what to do. <laughs> so, so I'm probably going to die. And then I'm probably just going to back myself up here with She-Hulk. But um, just for fun. Since this is the last fight on the path. Let's, let's have a little bit of fun here with Mr. F. Try to bait this though. Oh wait, this guy has pre-fights. I should pop pre-fights or something. Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pop the pre-fights on the boss. I'm a genius. <laughs> Uh-oh. I do not like being backed up against the wall. You know what? I'm just going to hold my L3. And now I can just get out of here. These new nodes are not fun at all. Some of them uh, I thought were okay. Um, this one, I don't know, it's, it's not, it's not terrible, but I also agree that it doesn't really feel super fun either, I guess. There was a couple of the new nodes that I had an alright time with. supposed to do here? How do you play this guy? Something about using different specials maybe? I honestly don't know. I'm getting backed up against this wall again. It is not fun trying to dex Tigra <laughs> up against the wall, damn it. You know what? Let's have a bit of fun. Let's push her to an L2. If this doesn't kill her, at least. Actually, I think I can. Yeah, I'll just kill her. Okay, good. Cool. Leo! Dude! Leo sending over 25 big ones. Thank you, man. Saying, sup, BG. That is all. <laughs> Leo. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Very generous of you. Uh, Kang, or KXNG, sending over five pounds. And I, BG, it's 6.30 p.m. in the UK, so I can finally catch a stream. Uh, well, welcome, dude. But I'm stuck on 5.2.5. Any tips, strats, or specific champs for getting uncollected? Okay, 6.2.5. That's Bane. And Bane... Um, yeah, there, there's definitely some tips I can share. A lot of it comes down to practice. You need to get it like a, a feel for that node more than anything. So, what I actually recommend doing is, is like, dude, just once a day. I swear, after like a few days, you'll, you'll, you'll feel more comfortable in there. But once a day, just like pop in that quest, bring you your five strongest champs. Don't even plan to beat the quest. Just like see how far you get without using items. And uh, and then just back out, you know. And then once you start feeling a little bit more comfortable, um, like really go for it. But here's, here's some actual tips. Um, you want to bait specials kind of early when the timer is 
Like when you just give the opponent the timer, start baiting specials. The worst thing that you can have happen is the timer is about to transfer to you and then they throw their special and while their animations are playing out, you got Bane on yourself and there's nothing you can do about it and you're just taking massive amounts of damage. Um, so do that. Uh, try not to push them, try not to push their power meter too high. You know, sometimes when you transfer Bane, all you want to do is just hit them one time. Um, so yeah, that is a good thing to do. Some power control champs can be helpful. It's not required, but be helpful. Um, some healing, because no matter what, you're going to be taking some damage. So if you have champs that can heal, those are always helpful too. And uh, you can slow, oh, slow your combos, actually. Slowing your combos is huge. Parry, and like, you could wait until the stun timer's almost up. And then just kind of a little bit more slowly than usual, do your five hit combo and even chain that into a special if need be. Like, only do that if it's going to help you to, you know, time out the Bane transfer a little bit better. Um, but yeah, man, those are some tips I have off the top of my head. Uh, I think Dave over on the Dork Lessons channel made a, made a video about it as well. Uh, if you want to, you know, check that out and, and maybe get a little bit more visual, um, guidance on it. But I hope that helps, man. Uh, good luck to you. EG, why do you not promote small channels? Uh, I do promote small channels. Um, I even made a video about it before. But I don't know where that where that question is even coming from. Uh, Jace Dennison, Senator 5, saying, Yo, BG, do you know if the passive power stings count towards Voids? Dot. They don't. Don't have a Mr. Fantastic, so I haven't played with Mechatic myself. No, so... Uh, Void, Void, his damage only comes from the debuffs. Like, you know, his passive damage or whatever you want to call it. Um, only debuffs, not, not passives on the opponent. So any kind of passive effect... It's not going to do anything for him. Um, but, of course, you know, the, the power stings, like, that still does help your damage. So, it is still... It's not amazing synergy for a void, but... It's something. Okay, so just kind of slow play it here and hit this guy with a lot of heavies, I think, right? Let's do it. BG hates small channels more than dumb. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, dude, I, I mean, every single night I raid a, uh, a small channel. <laughs> like, I don't know, sometimes these questions just come out of nowhere. I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? Alright, I need you to throw your special. Thank you. This fight did not really start out perfectly, but it's going okay enough. I should have thrown my special too, probably. You know what, though? Maybe it is nice just to hold an L3, just in case I need to uh, drain this guy at all. Don't know why I did a heavy attack there. That was not the right timing. It's okay, though. Um, his healing is actually reduced by a ton, thanks to the Mr. Fantastic debuffs. I have Despair maxed out, so each debuff is reducing healing by 15%. So, yeah, he's barely healing at all. This is actually great. Just gotta hold on a little bit longer, because if I get hit by this guy, it's not gonna be a good time. Dude's barely healing. Let's keep it rolling. Woo! No! I thought I parried that hit, and I clearly did not parry that hit. Oh my god. That sucks. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well. I kind of... Ooh, he's going to heal, man. I'm going for it. I'm going to throw a Void in there. This dude's probably going to heal a bit. But I'm going to try not to hit him at all and, and like, just parry. And um, we'll see what happens. 
If I can get some good debuffs rolling. And reverse that healing. I just really have to stall. Of course he has that power gain. That's not helping things. Oh boy, I think I'm screwed. I think I'm screwed. No! Oh man, slipped up. Okay, well, at least he didn't heal or anything, so that's nice. <laughs> Dang. Uh, EZ, thank you for the, the bug 50, by the way, saying, Brian, I've been putting off Varian 5 because I like my suicides, but after clobbering the champion with Dragon Man, I think I might turn them off uh, and go in there. I'll take my rank 2 Venom with some good Mystics like Sorcerer and Doom. What's a good Mystic Dispersion set up with Venom? Um, Venom doesn't really need anything in particular. So, really just pop on Mystic Dispersion with any of your Masteries. Uh, I mean, the build that I'm using, uh, I, I like this build. But it's certainly, you know, it's very flexible. Like, Bleed is nice. For Venom, if you have Deep Wounds unlocked, that, that could help you. But really, you don't need anything uh, special for it. So. I wouldn't bother, like, unlocking any Masteries for it, if you know what I mean. Alright, let's go back in there, though. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to bleed out if I use any other champions. Besides Omega Red. Right? Like, Mr. Fantastic he doesn't have anything. Maybe I can... No, there's no way I can do enough damage with She-Hulk. He's gonna heal, right? Let me throw him in there. Let's see. Man loves bees. Don't have any like petrif or pacify to reduce that. Yeah, there's no way. <sighs> All right. Well, that's that. Not Hector, sending over 598. Thank you, dude, saying happy Blade of B-Day. Uh, buy yourself a big can of beans on me. <laughs> also, you're glowing. Thanks, Not Hector. <laughs> Appreciate it, dude. Oh, man. Thank you, dude. All right. Let me, uh, let's just toss a revive into Omega Red and keep this moving. It's not a big deal. Do that. Uh, I'll toss a lesser love juice in there. And we got a couple more pre-fights on this guy. Uh, put that on. And reduce the potency damage over time. I mean, it's actually nice having that reduced potency of damage over time. It's not essential by any means, but actually kind of nice. All right, anyway. Let's finish it up. Get back to what I should have done the first time. Okay, still reducing that healing by a pretty good amount. Actually, maybe I shouldn't pop a special too because it does so many hits. He's gonna die now though, right? Yeah. That bleed was starting to really uh, do some damage to me. Whew. Okay. Anywho, let's uh, go to next quest. I'm gonna get out of here to go to next quest. Let me claim. I don't know if you have to claim it each time you you move on to another quest, but. Might as well. If you're doing the, the four star challenge, make sure you're doing these quests in order. Or else, yeah, you're going to be screwed. Let me see what this class type is. Uh, oh, this is the tech one. Okay. Well, we're just going to roll through here with, uh, with Warlock. Who's the boss again? Okay, that's right, Sentinel. Okay. Well, let's go grab Magneto, Warlock, and an assortment of maybe some other... Uh, Thanks. You have a lot of obje objectives to do, UG? I sure do, Chris. You should get on that. It's annoying. 
Oh man, annoying that I haven't done it or annoying to do? Can't tell which you're saying. Okay. I guess we'll throw a guillotine in there as well. It's probably all I need. Um, let's get mags. We'll put cable on the team for that synergy. Should we do. Hmm. Should we put sunspot on the team as well? Oh, that's right. It's just that synergy. I don't need that. I mean, the reduced power that the opponent gains is nice too, but I don't really care about that. Um, should we just toss another tech champ in there just for safety's sake? What other what other champ what other tech champs did you guys find to be good for this quest? Like I know Warlock, he's just gonna crush it. Hulkbuster? Okay, you know what? I never use Hulkbuster. Let's put Hulkbuster on the team. That'll be good. Uh, item, item P plays Fort. Send it over to. Thank you, dude. Saying, do you have any advice on Act Five Point Two Point Four? It's the masochism. Um, what the fudge is up, bright guy? What up, Jay Divine? Masochism is uh, masochism is rough, dude. Um, there's a few champions that are good against masochism, like Ghost and Omega Red. But there's really not too many of them. A lot of it comes down to how you're you're kind of playing the fight. Um, if you have champs that deal lots of debuffs, that can be helpful to eat the masochism charge. But the problem is the opponent also heals a lot, right? So if you have something like the despair mastery along with all of those uh, debuffs, uh, that'll reduce the healing and it'll greatly shorten the length of the fight compared to what it'd be without it. So that's an option if you do have uh, a lot of debuffs available. And also reparrying. If you could learn the reparry method, that would be really helpful to you too. Um, watch Legacy's video on it. It's it's a tough quest, and you know sometimes you kind of just have to uh, back out until we're ready to take on something like that. So I hate to say it, but that might be what you have to do. You might have to, uh, um, you know. If you, if you haven't already cleared, like, Act 4 100%, you could do that while you're kind of waiting to pull more champs and, and stuff. Um, but those are some tips for it, at least. Good luck to you, dude. Alright. I don't... I kind of don't want to take this outside lane. That would reduce the boss's health, but maybe I will. I don't know. What nodes do these guys have? Fight or flight. Hmm. Not the worst node to deal with, but also not the best. Um. Okay, I don't really care about that. Maybe. Maybe this path would be the best. Seems alright. I'll think about it. Let's go through this first fight first. Let's do it up. Who's best for 6.4 Grandmaster? Um, the Grandmaster is mostly just about learning the mechanics of the fight. There's a ton of good... There's a ton of champions that are able to solo that fight. Um, MSD has like 30 of them on his channel or something, man. It's crazy how many, how many times he sold that guy. Uh, I liked Colossus. He was my... My go-to champ. But uh, you could really use just about anybody once you know what you're doing. Um, if you're about to go into the Grandmaster fight or you're getting close to it, highly recommend just, you know, watching a few videos on that guy. I made a video going in detail about all of his phases, but uh, because it's such a complicated fight, you, you, you probably want to take the time to, like... You know, get a few different perspectives. And just the more you familiarize yourself with it, the, the better time you'll have. Processing. Let's turn that off. Don't want to get thunder quacked. I don't know why I was trying to bait out a special and this guy didn't have the power for it. All 
right, let's just hit him with the L2. I don't want it to wait till after the processing. Okay, good. He just got the regen anyway. That's totally fine. Did not want to get thunderquacked in that moment. Okay. Yeah, this quest shouldn't be too bad. Best way to beat safeguard nodes. Damage over time. Um, works really well versus safeguard. Uh, so, you know, bleeds, things like that. Uh, alright. It's decision time. Do I take the outside path? I mean, the outside path, it's not that it's hard. Uh, oof. There's results of that war. Alright, let's just, let's just go with the bottom path here. Let's take D. This path, it didn't seem bad. I think either path would have been fine, but we'll, we'll go this way. Alright. Yeah, just just basically regular guillotine here, right? I want to use Hulkbuster for this. Well, no, I'll use Hulkbuster for the next fight. Um, He's probably uh, good for this fight too, I imagine. But... Oh! Really? You hit me with your sword like that? It's messed up. Maybe I should have went with Hulkbuster here after all. Forgot, I want to push her to an L2. God, who puts Gid... This is not going to hit. Okay. <laughs> Got lucky. <laughs> Got very lucky there. But who puts Guillotine in a quest, man? I hate this champion. Oh. And I got nailed by that. I really hate fighting Guillotine. Just anywhere. Anywhere that she is. This is putting some good damage in, though. Thanks. Really? That was your L1? Special one should finish it. Oh, special one's so weak, Warlock. She's actually healing. Whoops. Need infections. Let's try this again. I forgot I should not be using the special one because it's just getting rid of the uh, the infections. Duh. Screwing myself over here by going with the L1. That was silly. Easy. Send over two saying Twitter when possible. Sure. We got, got that six star I was talking about last night. Uh, also glad I didn't use that Awakening Gem on Aegon. Dude. Huge pull, man. Congrats, dude. That is awesome. That Fury. He's gonna... <laughs> oh, man. Sick pull, dude. Gonna have him awaken and everything. That is awesome, man. That is very awesome. Congrats. <laughs> Pog. Because you can explain to me how you get the Furies. Uh, it's this the, the node in this quest. Whenever a tech attacker inflicts the defender with an armor break debuff, the defender... Okay, well, yeah. That's, I mean, that's part of it. They're inflicted with passive heal block. But uh, right here. Tech attackers gain an indefinite passive Fury, increasing attack rating by 35% whenever the defender tries to gain health while heal blocked. So, combination of these two nodes, since you're, you're always heal blocking them if you have an armor break, or... Warlock, just in general, shuts down healing anyway. Um, is Hulkbuster going to be good for this fight? I guess we're going to learn. <laughs> the more I thought about it, I probably should use Hulkbuster for the last fight. And then... Uh, uh, Warlock for this fight. How do you armor break with this guy again? I know normally you don't want a heavy attack, Darkhawk, but is it just the L1 or the L? No, it's the L2, right? 
maybe I'll step away from the heavies. You want to do it like into this guy's block, right? They bait out this special first. But. Alright, this was a mistake, I think, going in with this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Wrong order of uh, champions to use. Your damage increases with the with the shocks, I think, right? I guess he's just gonna auto block me. Yeah. Oh, he can auto block specials too. I thought that was gonna be unblockable. Okay, let me stop doing any kind of heavy shenanigans. I'm sorry to all the Hulkbuster fans out there. Looking like a uh, total scrub with this guy right now. I also thought he was passively heal blocked with the armor break on him. I'm just confused all around. Oh, I see. There is a passive heal block, but it doesn't last that long. So I should save the specials for when he's about to heal. Hmm, okay. This is my first time using Hulkbuster in like, since the champs was, was update. I used them, I tested them like, I don't know. Maybe a couple of hours or something like that after he got updated in total. And that was it. That was a pretty scrub fight though. That's okay. Nice thing about Hulkbuster is uh, he's relatively safe to play, you know? PG Path A is for four star mission. I mean, you don't have to take it though. Um, Let's try Hulkbuster again. And maybe I won't scrub it up completely this time. I probably will, though. We'll see how it goes. Oh, you want to do heavy attacks after this, after like the L1 stun, right? I think that was a good time to do it. Whoops. Out real quick. Thank you. Woo! Dicey. Uppercut that just for fun. <laughs> yeah, like if you give him no power, right? With that L1 and then uh, uppercut him a whole bunch up against the wall. It's like I know about 10% of this guy's kit, but because I never play him, I don't remember the way to put it all together. But oh well. Uh, Michael Lawton sent it over two pounds. Thank you, dude. Uh, just with the cool pair. Well, thanks, man. No other message. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, let's use him again. Special one into block for extended stun. Oh, so it's extending stun. I knew, I know you want to throw it into block for a reason. But I couldn't remember exactly what happened when he did it. Okay.
I'm just gonna keep looking like a scrub. Not using this guy the uh, the right way. It's one of those things where like if you use a champion enough, you'll eventually figure it out. <laughs> and uh, well, today's probably not gonna be good enough to really figure it all out, but uh, that's enough to have some fun, you know. Well, this got a block. Crap. Hoping he was still blocking. No! Oh boy, I thought that was gonna connect. It did not connect. It's okay. Look at that, we're getting better already. I'm still in Abyss. What am I even doing? MSD. Oh my goodness, you're still in there. Well. Hopefully you're, you're having fun, at least. <laughs> Hulk Brothers Special 2 drains power and power locks if you hit into the block. Uh, if you don't, it's just a power lock. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Well, if I had more time to, to mess with this guy, I could maybe get a little bit better, but it's probably the best I can do. I don't, I probably can't do that kind of stuff against Wasp here, right? Wasp is going to uh, evade. Well, then again, if stunned. Does she evade? I mean, she won't. I know she won't. But. Um, gotta get that heal block on. Woo! Fast! Oh! Apparently she will evade, even the first hit. Dang, man. Not much for that. Wasp. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously getting hit by all of, like, the easiest things to evade. Like, oh, Wasp Special 1, yeah. Um, why would anyone get hit by that? I don't know. My first time playing the game, guys, that's all. Whatever. Hulkbuster turns out it's really good for this quest, though. So that's nice. Kieran's sending over a bug. Thank you, Kieran. Sorry. I had to redo my final path of Deadpool event uh, side event yesterday because of uh, crashing. But it paid off. Pulled 6-star Fury. Dude, you too? Um, easy. Just pulled 6-star Fury. I have the five star duped in 565, but I'm still super happy with the pull. Future rank three? Oh, for sure, future rank three, man. Yeah. Congrats, dude. Great pull. That's awesome. That is awesome, dude. Okay. Uh, let's knock out this Sentinel fella. Pretty straightforward Sentinel. Just has a whole bunch of health. Let's hope to not screw this up. Guess what we're gonna do? Get a whole bunch of prowess. I thought he was gonna go unstoppable there. That's close. Alright, let's start multiplying this prowess. You know what? I'm just going to let it rip here. I don't want him to gain any analysis before I throw the special, so we'll just do this, and then I'll bait special after. I mean, for the most part, you don't give him analysis when playing Magneto, but he still does get some. You still have to try to avoid it at times. 
I maybe should have just played more aggressively after the special three. The follow up with an L1. And that would have been good. But I didn't. Yeah, see, now he's got some analysis. Okay. That quest wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. We're moving on. Uh, Joe Bob hitting that member button. Joe Bob. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the support, man. Welcome. Please enjoy a banana. Along with all these kick-ass custom emojis, dude. Thank you, man. Uh, Seth sending over a buck as well saying, Hey, BG Newsflash, we have something in common. We did not pull a six-star fury yesterday. Seth, dude, you're right. We do have that in common. <laughs> oh, man. You know, when you put it that way, a lot of us have something in common, I bet. Oh, man. All right, let's move on. So we did, we did science. We did tech. What is this one? Uh, aha, this is the cosmic one. Okay. All right, last time I went through here with Cole, and that was a pretty fun time. But I won't be doing that again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just checking out some of the paths. Yeah, this one I probably will take the uh, A path. Okay, and for the boss. Oh man, I so badly want to use Kingpin here again. But okay. Okay. All right, let's go assemble the team. Maybe I'll put Fury in. I think I have a 550 Fury. For the for the boss, that is. Let's get rid of all these scrubs. Uh, let's grab some cosmics. Ooh, I have a five-star uh that's that's right. I just ranked up these champs actually. Okay, so oh, I know exactly who I want to throw in here. That's good. Hmm. For the rest of it. I'll put Medusa on the team. Alright, let's grab. Uh, oh no, I don't have a 550 Fury. I mean, he'd probably still do alright at 440, but. Eh. Uh, Joe Bob's sending over a buck as well. Thank you, Joe Bob, saying, what can I say? I'm a fool, fool, fool for you, BG. Speaking of fool, tweet, tweet. Sure, man. Let me see what we got here. Uh, BG, I know what you're going to say. I should have saved the 900 units. I also tried 10 of the six-star ones. Uh, towards my mastery builds, but my favorite character has always been Deadpool since way back in the Spidey cartoons and comics. Worth it, only because I got super lucky. Nice, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, not bad. So 900 units, and then and then 10 of the the six star ones. Uh, or is that like 900 units in total? Dude, either way, like that's that's really cheap. So I, I mean, I went for gold pool as well. Not this time, but way back in the day, and I spent 5,000 units to get them. And that was only to get a ticket to then grind for him in the arena. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, you got him on the cheap. That's awesome, man. Congrats. I mean, yeah, uh, you're right in that I would have, if I was giving advice, I would have said just use, um, or just, just spend those things on masteries, but... Uh, sometimes we got to stray away from the best things to do and go for something you really love, you know? So I also support that decision. Uh, who do, I mean, who do you guys use for the, for the boss? Stealthy. I hate stealthy though. 
Um, Cat Marvel we bring Fury. Oh, that's true. Cat Marvel and Fury combined. Maybe I should cut Medusa and just bring both of those champs. I never really played Cat Marvel. That would actually be kind of fun. So yeah, Medusa, you know I love you, but I'm going to cut you for right now. We'll bring in Cat Marvel as well. Gwenpool, AA. AA sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll do that. I think AA would work here, right? Ooh, I kind of want to use Sunspot now that I think about it. No, he's going to evade my specials though, I think, right? Yeah, let's use Archangel. Is there any reason that I'm overlooking as to why this guy would not be good? For the fight? This should be good, right? Okay, let's just let's just go. I think we're good to go. Let's do it up. I am gonna be using Thor a bunch. Killmonger makes it easy. Makes it easy. I, well, I'm not on the skill quest, by the way. I'm on the, I'm on the cosmic quest. Or maybe you were talking to someone else if they were asking about the skill quest. But uh, I'm I'm gonna use Thor a bunch here, even though I do have Cap Marvel and, and Fury. But I never get to play Thor. You know, and I actually just ranked this guy up. You guys uh, will see it in the mass level up recap video for the month. And uh, yeah, it's fun getting to play this guy. I never really even got to play Thor back in the day when he was like ridiculously overpowered. That was done. Because I didn't have Thor back then. So, I, like, by the time I pulled this guy, it was already, like, post-nerf. And, I mean, he was still good post-nerf, too. Well, sort of. They had to, like, rebuff him a little bit. Um. But he is good. No stun? You again? Wait. That was a pretty high stun chance. Is it not? He doesn't have a way to prevent it, does he? Alright, one more time. Ooh, I thought I got nailed by that. Oh, boy. I really thought I dexed the wrong time. Let me look at this guy's abilities. Yeah, it's just a 70% chance to stun. Was there something else at play there? Because I, I get, like, missing a 70% chance a couple of times or something like that, but I feel like I missed, like, four times in a row. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy crap. I mean, it happens, I guess, but, uh, jeez. It's pretty nutty. Unless there was something else there, uh, also preventing it. Uh, hey, BG, how's the stream going? Also, I realized Cam is streaming in 35 minutes. Yeah, I was trying, I'm trying to, I was trying to do a stream early to then raid him. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Because uh, I still have a lot of this quest to go. But hopefully... Um, hopefully he's streaming for a while and then we can raid him. But that was the reason why I, I started streaming so early today. That was the entire reason for it. 
All right, Guardian. Let's not make this a repeat of what happens in the incursions. <laughs> where I always let lags down by somehow mistiming the evade. Dude. I really thought I had the evade good that time, too. I guess not. Wow. I really cannot evade this. Holy crap. Like, I tried changing my timing for it a little bit. Not really working. There we go. I don't know what it is about this guy. But I, I, ju I just can't... Ooh. I took my hand off the phone... Because I thought the animation was going to be longer. <laughs> I was uh, going on a tangent about why I can't seem to consistently evade this guy's special one. Now I seem to be getting it, but... Jeez. Almost wrecked myself there. Forgot about his auto block. This damn armor up, man. Oh, you're special. Thank you. Nice tanky, though, man. A lot of hits in this fight. Alright, we're good here, though. Rock him with a special three. Leave my hands on the phone just in case. Now we're good. Okay. Uh, Matthew Eaton sending over a buck. Thank you, dude. So, hey, thanks for the day stream. Uh, moving out of my apartment today. We just got married. Hey, congratulations. And bought a house. Oh, dude. That's awesome. Congrats on both of those things. Moving sucks, so your stream helps. Dude, moving is the worst. Moving is the absolute worst. I'm so happy that I've been in the same place for like two years now. Because it's the longest we've been in a single spot for a while. <laughs> we've moved... I think we moved like six times. Either five or six times. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, in the past ten years. And it's just... God. It's the worst. So hopefully uh, it goes smoothly for you. And you move into an awesome place. And you can stay there for a really long time. But congrats, man. Congrats. And uh, thank you, dude. All right, let's 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 keep it rolling. I want to use uh, Vision here. I never get a chance to use Vision either, so let's let's have a bit of fun with this guy. Let's do it. Effing hate moving more than... Really? With the seat and trolls still? Oh, man. Any newcomers to the stream? <laughs> just, a, just, a, just a heads up. Do not listen to the trolls. With messages of hate towards Seton. There is no hate towards Seton. Crap, I didn't want to get to an L3 here. But it happened. UG it is lags. Love Mr. Canada Man, Guardian. Uh I mean of course, they're they're basically the same person. Um I don't know if you saw that picture that I made of Legacy being guardian essentially But they're essentially the same person It's pretty nice man damage is Up there got the nice power gain Gwenpool of course is not going to take full damage from the specials, but The damage feels good sweet uh, Peter is a dummy sending over one of them loonies. Thank you, dude. Uh, lags is best he's with Guardian IRL. Yeah, man. Like, so you know how, you know, um, what's it called? Guardian and Sasquatch, they came out at the same time. I'm, I'm like Sasquatch. Maybe not, actually. I guess I'm not that hairy. <laughs> um, but we're buds, you know. 
Wait, quick question. Is Angela worth ranking up over Massacre? So Angela has 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 a buff coming. Um I would wait and see how that buff looks before you make a, a rank up decision like that. Um It's already been announced by uh Kabam Mike via Twitter like a couple weeks ago or something like that. Um So yeah, uh, right now, neither champion is like amazing. So I like, I don't know. I would probably favor Angela over Massacre anyway, but just to allow yourself like the full picture, complete picture, you might want to wait and see uh, how that buff looks. Damn you Groot, stop shrugging off all of your debuffs. I just do like a special one here. To be honest, I don't really know much of Vision's kit. I know I gotta stay in close to get the uh, the armor breaks. But I also don't want to push this guy to a special two. So this node, by the way, if you ha if you guys haven't done it yet, I imagine a lot of people who have done Cavalier. I've probably already seen this quest, but maybe not everybody. This node, when you have an armor break on the opponent, at least I think the way it works, is when you have an armor break on the opponent and you hit them, you have a chance to gain a, a fury. Something like that. It's something to do with the armor breaks. Uh, so, yeah. Um, Rap Game Bob Barker, by the way, dude, thank you very much for sending over 666. Mark of the Beast. Thank you, dude. Uh, I'll check out your message in just a sec. As soon as I'm done being a lumberjack over here. Maybe I shouldn't have popped the L2. Oh, that armor shadow is lasting a long time now. I guess maybe it has a duration equivalent to how much, however many armor breaks you had on the opponent. Is that what the deal is there? Okay. That ended up being pretty decent. Cool. Uh, I was still in the early game and trying to get uncollected, so I can't really afford to make a mistake when it comes to my rank up. I would go Angela then. If you're still in the early game, I would for sure go Angela, actually. Because Angela is just uh, an easier champion to play um, and a sustainable champion at that. So that healing is going to do a lot for you. So, yeah. All right, rap game Bob Barker, though. Oh, no message. Just, just doing your thing. Just doing the rap game Bob Barker thing. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. MSD saying, BG check Twitter. Oh my. Okay. Whatever that means, let's go check it out. What is this? Ooh, dude. I finally achieved my goal. Um, guys, this is a four-star She-Hulk. This is Abyss. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> that is freaking nuts, man. I, I hope you recorded that and I hope it worked. Please tell me the recording worked and didn't fail this time, MSG. That is nuts, dude. Wow. Crazy uh, right there. All right, let's go back in with Vision. I can leave Abyss Hole Cracks now. Man, crazy. All right, I think rank three Gulk for Throne Break is a good play. What about rank three Unduped Sentinel? Um... Both are okay. Hang on. I think, I mean, I think both are okay. It's... 
I would say neither are like, you know, top choice, of course. But if I were going for Throne Breaker, would I do it? I think I would. Um, I would probably go Sentinel. Well, what would I do? All right, let's talk about some pros and cons between both. So, uh, I would say Sentinel overall is the more useful champion. Golk is one of those champs that is situationally a, a beast, of course, when you're taking that passive damage. But those situations, they don't come up that frequently. Let me hold for a special three again. That actually worked well against uh, Root. Oh, no. That hurt. Um... So the situations where Golk is useful don't come up that frequently, but he also doesn't need to be awakened. And it is nice having that guy at a high rank for the times you do need to use him. His, his baseline damage is not that strong. But still, it just feels like there's not that, that big of a use for him. Whereas Sentinel, I feel like, in the long run, might pay off more. Um, and you could always, like, chuck him on defense i can't remember if you uh if you care about war or not that could be a thing you know i think i screwed up here i think maybe i should have held for another special three i guess i'm gonna get back there pretty quickly anyway so it's fine I guess maybe it didn't really matter anyway. This guy is just done for. Let's give him the, uh, let's give him the slap. Let's give him the, um, the Smash Bros hand. Later, dude. Okay, uh, or called Immortal Hulk Groot. Well, I was saying it, it worked well against Groot in the last fight. Maybe I still misspoke, but. I don't mean to choose between Sentinel or Gulk. It's just they're the best from the, the classes, and I don't know what tier 5 I'll end up with. Yeah, okay. So you still... Alright, so you don't have to make the decision now, right? That's what you're saying? Other classes are easy choices. Venom, Sorcerer, Nick, and Klaus. Okay, alright. To be honest, man, I, I would... I would do everything I could to, to not have to rank up those champs for Thronebreaker. If it really came down to it and you saw no other way to go about it, would I do it with one of those champs? Yeah, I probably I probably would rank up one of those champs. I don't know which one, but I probably would. Because they're useful champs. The, 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 here's the thing about Sentinel, too, that I want to say. That's kind of a, a, a bad thing. Um, I think there's better robots. I think Sentinel is a good robot. I think when he came out, he was the best robot. But these days, I, you know, I would say Warlock is the best robot. Followed by Guillotine 2099. And I mean, of course, situationally, they all have their uses still. Sentinel still has his use too. But I just mean like, you know, how many robots do you really need in the current game? Um, so, like, if you did pull one of those other robots, and they don't need to be awakened either, so, kind of, kind of leans away from Sentinel, actually, an unawakened Sentinel. I think slowing combos here might be good, just to stay in close. Guy has so many buffs and debuffs, I can't tell what's going on. Let's go for another L3. I like the L3s with, with Arcus here. They put in some good work. Okay. 
Um, wait, frisky darts. Hang on. I think I was still rambling about Easy's message. Let me, give me one sec. Um, where did I see yours already? Uh, oh, here we go. What's up, BG? I lost my membership and I'm not sure why. How do I become a member again? Cause I forgot. Yeah, there was a there was like a, a weird glitch on on uh, YouTube's end that I had to fix basically. Um, so a lot of people may have lost their membership. There's a link in the description that's probably the easiest way because it depends on your device uh, of, of like where in the UI it shows you how to become a member. But if you look in the description, I think it's, it's probably the second one down. It either says membership or join. It's one of those two. And uh, that'll do it. Um, sorry to the members who got like a, a weird email from YouTube saying this channel is no longer uh, monetized or whatever. I th a lot of people were telling me it kind of fixed itself with them, where they said it like disconnected it, but then re connected the membership or whatever you want to call it. Unsubscribed and then resubscribed. Archangel's putting in a little bit of work here. It's going all right. Kind of losing the race at the moment, but... Let's push him to special two. Come on, bud, please. Thank you. I actually thought I got nailed by that. <laughs> That's funny, man. Super easy to evade that special, but... My timing has just been off this morning for a lot of uh, special evades. Oh. He's up against the wall like that, and you're trying to... Or, you know, like, you're, you're baiting a special one from this guy. Pretty easy to get caught like that. Okay. That willpower healing is going to save me. Ooh. Alright, well now I have some extra willpower healing. Good. Not enough, apparently. Really? That wasn't a parry? It felt like a good parry. Dang. Alright, well. Apparently not. Rap game Bob Barker sent it over another five saying, Hey, BG, I did not just get married. And there's even more unfortunate news. <laughs> no new house either. Ah, man. <laughs> Dude, this stream is just filled with good news and bad news. <laughs> oh, man. Um, thank you very much for the, uh, for the five. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Lady who fixed my back sent me an email. It's urgent that I buy gift cards to get her niece out of trouble. Uh, okay. What? Seth Nier sent it over a, another buck as well. Saying tweet, tweet, please. And thank you, boss man. All right, let me see what we got. Okay, I'm stuck at the moment between Cavern and Thronebreaker. Advice? Explore 6.1.1 or Variant 6 to get a 25% or wait until 7.2. Should be around the corner. For Variant 6, I have the villains needed. Top row, they're all ranked 2, so I can take up uh, what forms first. Skills leading, Peep Kang. Hold on, hold on. Second one between Cavern and Thronebreaker. I, I, would, I would go with Variant 6 exploration. Um... Yeah, I would do variant six and, and see what that gives you. Seven point two could still be a little ways out. Uh, I mean, act six is not 
Like, 6.1 is not that bad either, but uh, I think you just get more overall from Variant. Or wait, did you mean 7.1, maybe? Because this is 7.1. Or no, 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 I guess you are just showing both of them. Okay. Yeah, skill is really close. Yeah, man, good luck to you. You've got some good champs for sure. It's really close to it, but that, that's what I would do. I would go with the variant, personally. Um, that's the route I would go. Frisky Dart, re-upping that membership. Frisky Dart, welcome back, dude. Thank you very much for the continued support, man. It's definitely appreciated. Uh, what's up, Tomo? Congrats on the war, even though it's a negative result for both. Yeah, dude, I hate ties. <laughs> Good war, though, man. Uh, Jacob McLendon in center 05 as well. Jacob, thank you, dude. Let me check that out in just one sec. It might have been better to not go with Fury for this. But here we are. Some special ones going. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Good old 440 Fury. Still put in some good work. You know what? I'm gonna get hit by the special. I'm going to real fury mode. Oh god. All I wanted to do was intentionally go to real fury mode. <laughs> I didn't think that that was gonna kill me. Damn you, fury. <laughs> Man. All right, Jacob, thank you for the five, dude. Saying, what's up, BG? It's pretty stoked to pull an Apocalypse from a regular four-star gem. Uh, or from a four-star crystal, I'm guessing. Also, I thought Warlock isn't a robot, but an alien from another planet. I don't really know much about Warlock, um, but apparently he is a robot. Maybe on other planets, robots are aliens. Maybe, I mean, that's what they're going to feel like here pretty soon, you know? All the robot technology getting stronger. Um... But yeah, dude, thank you, uh, thank you very much. You know what, I didn't use, I didn't use Cap Marvel yet. Let's do that. Um, thank you, dude. I don't know if we really need to go all the way to 25. But I do want to bait out this special first. Maybe I will go to 25. Is there a special though for me? Thank you. Can I parry this? Oh no, I cannot. Okay, well. Uh, it's all right. It's all according to plan, guys. This is working out just fine. I swear, this is exactly what I wanted to happen. Totally. Uh, yeah. Let's go with that. Oh, boy. No. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Seth Nier send over another two saying last. Uh, thanks for answering. Sure. Let me just finish up this fight. Said 6.1 because I figured it would be easier, quicker, and less resources compared to 7.1. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, you did miss Kang, by the way. Uh, did I? Uh, ooh, ooh, you got a six-star Awakened Kang. Dang, dude. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Not the Awakened version. But I mean, you're right, 6.1 would be a lot easier than, than, uh, 
Act 7. I still think probably the, the variant's the way to go, but you can go either way. Alright, on to the next quest. Every time I come in here, you're getting wrecked. Well, Cam, that's life, dude. <laughs> Cam, I was really trying to finish this stream before your stream. Sorry, man, I didn't quite make it. But uh, everyone who does not know, Cam is doing a... I'm going to toss a link in the chat, actually. Cam is going to be doing an interesting stream where he's trying to figure out uh, a good, like, a cool way to buff Joe Fix It, right? Let me see if I can get this link quickly enough. Here we go. He's starting up in, like, 10 minutes. So the link's in the chat. Um... Title is Let's Fix Fix It Buff Design Stream for Joe Fix It. So yeah, if you guys want to uh, contribute towards that, I think it's a cool idea. Uh, Jacob sent over another two saying, BG, did you also see they changed Fury in arenas? They changed Fury in arenas? Like he doesn't start with his pre-fight or I'm not sure exactly what you're saying because I apparently I don't know what you're talking about. Mmm, this is the skill quest, right? I remember this one being skill. Skill attackers prevent the defender's evade abilities while the defender is suffering from a disorient, incinerate, or shock effect. Okay. I have the, the skater dude ranked up. Who did I use for this boss again? I don't remember who I used for this boss. I don't remember him being anything too special, though. Maybe I just use Sorcerer Supreme. Um, I think I will take the uh, the linked path. This quest doesn't look too bad. Let's go grab some champs. Uh, Joker GB fan is that Game Boy fan? I hope it's Game Boy fan. It's Nero Five. Thank you, dude. Saying I lost my job at the bank. Uh, my very first day. Woman asked me to check her balance, so I pushed her over. <laughs> Boo. Boo. All right, let's grab some uh, skill champs. Um, make sure I'm in the right quest. Get rid of all these guys. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Oops. Let's make sure we're setting that to four star. So I do have Night Thrasher. Is, is Night Thrasher actually good? Like, it seems like he was made for this quest, but I didn't use him before. Is he actually good or no? Uh, Jacob said, no, another two Sandy starts is the real Fury from beginning of fight. Is that, was that an actual change or is that just bugged because i know sometimes his pre-fight ability gets bugged like did you see it multiple times or just once because i don't remember that change happening deodorant I, I don't have deodorant ranked up as a matter of fact i don't have her at all as a four star champion so i can't use her he's massacre i mean i know he has incinerates but he doesn't start out incinerating right away right I know Killmonger was, was pretty good. We could toss him in there for sure. Um, Squirrel Girl? Does Squirrel Girl have anything good for this? I'll put Thrasher in. Put Thrasher in, and I guess if I'm putting Thrasher in, I, that means I also need to toss in the Dark Hawk synergy. This way, um... Yeah, he's got the minus armor going. Uh, Elsa, is Elsa good for this? Try her out, sure. All right, let's grab somebody for the boss. Let's get a good mystic in here. Um, who do I want to use today? I was going to toss Symbiote Supreme in there, but he's not fully ranked up. 
Is Scarlet Witch good for the for this boss? Maybe I'll just clear it up. Is Claire good for this stuff? I'm gonna assume she is. Kinda wanna is this too many skill champs? Nah. Let's go. Uh, Kieran sending over a buck. Thank you, dude. Saying, hey, Brian, I have a dentist appointment coming up. Guess what time it is? 5.30. This isn't a joke. I actually do have a dentist appointment in a week. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> th thanks for sharing that with the rest of the class, Kieran. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I haven't been to the dentist in probably far too long. And, like, at this point, I'm scared to go. I don't think I have any issues with my teeth, but... It's one of those things where I feel like when I go, they're going to be like, oh, yep, it turns out you actually had 42 cavities. Oh. All right. Uh, but yeah. PG, can you tell me best team for uh, Cap Infinity? I want to do Realm of Legends for fun. For Cap Infinity? The only thing I, that's really important for Cap Infinity, if you want to play, like, actually with him... Uh, is I would say put a cosmic on the team so you have armor break to en enhance your damage a little bit. And then, of course, inside a Realm of Legends, you're going to want other debuffs plus um, despair to go through Wolverine. So just put a random science and a random uh, tech champ on the team. That way you have all those debuffs. I don't know if there is another synergy that like actually helps his damage a lot. Maybe other people do. Shido Brown send over pound. Thank you, dude. Saying what type of birthday cakes uh, do ghosts like? Ice cream cake. Anyway, moving on. Boo. Humans have 32 teeth, BG. Uh, is that true? I don't know if that's true. I mean, like. Total, or are you just saying at once? One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. I feel like that's just at once. Ah, oh, God. Should be paying more attention here, huh? Alright, hopefully this quest doesn't suck too bad. Evade. Okay. I refreshed it. Good. I forget how this guy works. I know you get different debuffs. I know you you refresh them from knocking him down, right? So I should be doing more heavy attacks. And then I thought the L2 put a different effect, right? Oh no! That's how you have to you have to do it with a different ending combo, right? That's what it is. So I'm only doing mediums right now, and I should end with a light. I think I remember now. Oh boy, what the heck? I have not fought the new yellow jacket yet. I didn't even know that was going to happen. What the hell? That's crazy. Okay, so that was with a light. So I put a shot? Or no, it's disorient. Okay. Alright. Probably the L2 that gives me the shock now. Alright. I think that's uh what you do. Light to special one? Okay. Uh, Massacre. Mm, I'm gonna use Killmonger for this guy. Just because. Should be really easy uh, to get the true strike and keep it up. I feel like it might be more fun using this guy. Pop your special there, bud. Come on. Is 
Seriously, dude. Thank you. Come on. Massacre is usually pretty free with a special one. There we go. There we go, dude. That's what I'm talking about, man. One more time. He never answer. You talking to me? He will not answer. So now you're just spamming. Don't answer. Um. Yeah, I don't know if if you're uh, seeing what's going on here. So this is the four star challenge. It's uh, not the biggest challenge in the world, but if you don't pay attention, I will get destroyed. If I don't pay attention, I will get destroyed. So if you're looking for answers during this type of stream, you've come to the wrong place. Uh, I stream all the time, doing uh, much easier streams to be able to communicate. But if you're trying to ask uh, a question about something, this just ain't really the, the, the best time for it. Um, I mean, I'll still answer some, of course. But uh, bad time to get pissy about not getting an answer, I guess I should say. Alright. Even with 32 teeth, you might get 47 cavities? Yeah, see, that's possible. I didn't pay attention a lot last night. I got wrecked a lot. Yeah, see? O'Brien oh, can't do the four-star challenge without looking? I know. The scrub? Question for anyone, what are what are these incentives for the four star challenge? Extra rewards or just, or just fun? No, it's you actually get rewards for it. So the big I mean you get you get a few six stones along the way, but the big prize is this right here. Where you get 10% of a tier five class catalyst fragment crystal. Um honestly, some people I I don't even blame for like skipping this quest because it, it does take a while to do. Uh, this is a several hour long challenge, but there's not really anywhere else that you can get tier five class catalysts like this. Um, not like, I mean, I sh shouldn't say that. There's plenty of places to get tier five class catalysts. It's just that right now, uh, they're still pretty rare and even 10%, like that could be enough to help you get uh, your next rank up or just start working towards a rank up, help you get Throne Breaker, stuff like that. I like using Killmonger for this quest just because it's pretty simple, but I probably will switch it up for the next fight. I don't know, he gets the Furies, like, pretty quickly, which I like. I don't know what the best specials are to use with this guy. I mean, I know his special 3 gets pretty crazy. But that's only after a long time in the fight, right? Maybe I'll just go to special 2. Do that. Nice thing about Killmonger too is those um, indestructible charges. Like, especially when you're kind of reaching beyond what a champion is supposed to be doing. Not really supposed to be doing a Cavalier with a four star, right? So if you get hit, like that, that could totally save your life for sure. Does not let me enter the game. Uh, are you on... Oh, man. Of course you're spamming it. I'm going to answer your question anyway, but I'm still timing you out. Please don't spam anymore. 
if you are uh if you're not if you're on cell data and not on wi-fi a lot of people have been having troubles with that this uh recent update so if you're able to get on wi-fi it'll be easier if you're not able to get on wi-fi i've heard that um you could still log in it just kind of takes a while to actually log in Oh, Shock is parry into special one. No basic hits. Ah, okay. Got it. Well, I'll probably put the incinerate on him first. And then I'll do a Shock after. But this way, he won't be able to evade at all. Well, I mean, I guess he wasn't going to be able to evade at all regardless. But... Okay, that's good. Appreciate the tip. Okay, so now I did a light ending combo. Got the disorient. Got three debuffs rolling. My attack is starting to get up there a bit. That's some good damage right there. Whew. All right, that was much better. Dude, excellent tip with the uh, the parry. Good thing the AI doesn't know how to play Ronin, right? Good thing the AI doesn't know a lot of things. Does anyone know when I get my Dragon Man uh, Arena rank rewards? Usually in about like two to three hours from now. GG, so I managed to get two five-star crystals for the mythic or, or the mystic uh, dual class, and I let my mom open them and get the best power control champ, magic, and yellow jackets. Rank fouring her as soon as uh, ISO allows, but awakening gem, is she worth it? Uh, her awaken ability, I think, is kind of important for the champ. Um... Magic, magic's interesting, because, you know, I, I think a lot of the other mystics are stronger than magic these days. But magic, of course, still is one of the best at just locking down the opponents. Absolutely. Um, but there's not that many areas of the game where you, like, totally need to do that anymore outside of, like, Alliance War. Uh, and if you are going to be using magic in something like Alliance War... Not only do you want that safety net of, uh, of Limbo. Wait, did I mess this up? Should that have been a special too? Oh no. Um, but the extra damage from Limbo too is, is actually pretty nice. Alright, come on. Big damage. What do we got? Let me get a crit. Nice. That was good. Dude, I have I have a a, a, a six star Night Thrasher that's awakened. Um, as low as Sig, I know his Sig like adds more attack and everything. But if he's already getting a bunch of attack from these nodes, if this quest stays, maybe I'll just rank two that Night Thrasher at some point. Let's keep using him. He's fun. For variant six BG, uh, maybe you mean variant five? This variant um, six, that's the villain one. She's not a villain, right? But if you are going to be using her in a variant, then, then yeah, I would say Awakener. She's probably going to save you a bunch of resources. So, sure. All right, let's get the shock going. Now let's end with the light. Okay. Now we're looking pretty good. Now we just gotta hit this dude more to get more furies. 
So I don't know a ton about Night Thrasher. I'm not. I'm definitely not the best person to uh, explain how this guy's abilities work entirely. I'm just kind of learning in this fight in a lot of ways. But I do know that the debuffs, they refresh when you knock the opponent down. So, you know, doing a heavy attack or a special attack. So you got to do a lot of those with Night Thrasher um, to make sure the debuffs stay up. And not only do, do those, like the shock and incinerate deal damage, but... I'm also getting uh, Furies. You'll notice there's there's passive Furies from the node and then Fury buffs just from his regular abilities. And I think they're Furies based on the number of debuffs the opponent has. Let me see. Striking a taunted opponent with skateboard attacks. Oh, it's just a taunted opponent. Grants a permanent Fury buff increasing attack by 230. Um, when knocked down, all these are left. Okay, all these are lost. Okay. Got it. All right. It occurs to me I would have had a, a lot easier time with this quest if I had suicides off and I was less intoxicated and it wasn't... <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. It wasn't 1 a.m. Oh, had something in my throat. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Let's clear this dude. And hopefully it goes well with Claire. And if not... Well, then I'll just toss someone else in. It'll be all right. I think. <laughs> Dude, I love that heavy attack, man. That's so cool. Um, Do I stay in bleed mode? To keep the healing? Probably not. I think I do switch to incinerate. Let's do that. Well, I don't really want to go to a special three. Oh, wow. That falter. Luckily, this guy's a fool, and he just let me hit him anyway. So that's nice. Thank you. I really don't know how Super Scroll works. I didn't play him or anything. I've only done this quest uh, a couple of times so far. That really didn't do much damage. Wait a minute. Okay. Wasn't sure what I was supposed to do there. <laughs> that might not have been the best thing to do. Oh, man. I need to get back to healing. Ugh. The incinerate immunity fueled my power. All right. Hit his block. Was I supposed to hit his block? When I have the falter? Or do you mean just in general? If I can just get to a special two again, I'll get some big healing and I'll be all right. Okay, there's that falter. Yeah, if I just watch the timing on it, too, that's good. Luckily, willpower is coming through in the clutch once again. Okay. Got some big healing. Bait out a special one from this guy. And I think I can do that again before that falter comes in. Okay. Got it. Good shout on the hit into his block tip. Yeah, this is going to be a long fight though, man. I'm dealing no damage to this guy. Is there something else? Oh, God. I was not paying attention to the... Falter. Mm. When Falter hit his block, also beta heavy, then uh, light hit to convert the Falter debuff. Okay. Got it. Seems way better for this fight than Claire. Sork would be 
Uh, second best. This fight feels very similar to the champion boss fight or a Venom fight. I actually wanted to bring those champs, but I didn't have them ranked up. So I just went with Claire because she was a rank higher. Might not have been the right play still, though. Let's see what Elsa can do. Another champ that I do not know how to play. But I think I'll just worry more about what this guy's doing than anything. Okay, so we got the falter coming up pretty soon. Okay, falter. Armor buff state this dude's gaining. Whew. Yeah, this is also not great. Dang, dude. This guy's annoying. It's unblockable, man. Pushing back a little bit. I am not doing much though. Super freaking scroll. That falter's coming back around and he's unblockable. Dash back. You. That's just permanently unblockable at this point. Don't get to your special two. Woo! Uh, Falter's coming back around, but he's blocking already, so that's nice. Okay, we're still in control a little bit. I feel like at any moment I'm just gonna die. Like this is hanging on for dear life here as much as I can. Walter's coming back around. He's blocking, so we're good. Willpower healing. Definitely, I mean, if she would allow the debuff to stick, I'd be doing some work. Alter. Stop my combo early. Can't even explain why I did that. Seriously, one of the coolest heavy attacks. But throw it, throw it, throw it. No, he's got an L2. Oh man. Good luck to me. No, there's no way. There's no way I was going to survive that. Oh my god. Uh, I knew I was toast there. Um. Alright, well, let's just throw in the rest of my champs here. You can parry? Wait, even when he's unblockable, you can parry? Is that just one of his abilities? He had an unblockable buff. But maybe that's just a... Uh, oh, God. That was just awful. Don't try evading special 2. It's miserable. Well, he had a, an unblockable buff going. You can use Elsa's uh, counter when unblockable. Oh. Oh. I didn't know that. Okay. 
Here's Elsa. When you try to power, it evades and gives a busted to super scroll. Okay. Got it. Well, let's keep going. I, uh, I, if I could go back in time, I would have brought in a different champion. I probably would have brought my 440. Um, my 440 Sim Supreme for this fight instead of Claire. I think that actually would have been better. Okay, Falter is active. Zero damage. Like, this guy's not bleed immune, right? Oh, the falter. I wasn't paying attention. Like, I'm about to just quit out of this fight. <laughs> this is miserable. I'm doing nothing for damage. I'm going to hit him with a special three. Just to laugh at how weak it is. And then I think I'm just going to quit out of this fight. This is awful. Let's get there first. Uh-oh. Okay, he almost got that L2 again. No. No, I thought he was going into a block. Let's bait a special one real quick. I'm quitting out after this. He's at 47%. Let's see if we can take off a single percentage. All right, he's down to 46. Wow. Okay. Later. Yoda said it over five. Thank you, dude. Saying evade special two. You can. Uh, did it. I have with Rhino. Faith need you do. Yoda, thank you very much for the sage advice. I, I evaded his special two once accidentally. It was like my first time seeing it. And I don't think I evaded it since. <laughs> um, but thank you, man. Uh, Mike Lair said it over five as well. Saying, BG for my fifth rank three, would you take up Unduped Colossus or Domino or wait? I have Omega Red already rank three and a 565 Colossus. I'd probably wait. Um, I think I'd wait, dude. Coloss if, I, if I was going to go with someone, it would be Colossus, but... I think the 565 is probably going to be good enough for you and might be better just to diversify for the time being. Um, but yeah, uh, Yoda sent over a hot dog as well. Thank you, Yoda. I don't think, yeah, there was no other message, just another super chat with a hot dog. Thanks, man. So I'm guessing I'm also going to do no, like no damage here, right? He's going to be immune to this. Yeah, I should have checked his immunity page. Let me just, uh... I'm assuming he's going to be immune to shock, too. But I'm going to try it before exiting out of this match as well. And then we'll just revive Claire. Well, never mind. Couldn't even check it. Alright, let's just go with Claire. This fight sucks. With these champs that I have, at least. Claire is by far the best. Let's hit her with a revive. Give her some of that love juice. Alright, let's finish it up. 
BJ, I spend 1,000 units on revives for collector. No. Or invest in precision and cruelty. Yes. Uh, also, what's more important, precision or cruelty? Precision. Um, you do not want to spend that kind of units clearing through a quest. Getting uncollected is awesome. But uh, take your time, man. It, it's, it's not worth spending that kind of resources. All right, falter up. There we go. Was my special two in the other mode dealing better damage? Let's try. Forget about the life steal for now. Oh god. Alright, so what is this guy's what is this guy immune to? Everything? I really should just take a look at his info page. Just stay in the incinerate mode. Um, this is going to be my best damage by far. I should have known. I mean, Claire's not too bad for this, actually. Uh, I do think Sim probably would have been better, but... There's fine. A little slow. Get rid of falter. It's the last special two. Sure is. Okay. Much better. Took a sec to get used to his abilities and stuff. I didn't know about the falter thing the first time I was fighting him, to be fair. So, it's probably why I died the first time. Alright. Let's claim that. Still have two more to go. Alright. Uh, this is the mutant one, right? Because it's mutant and then mystic next. Yeah, each hit in the special attack when attacking mutant champ is 30% chance to grant a passive regen. Okay. Mutant attackers gain indefinite uh, passive fury, increasing attack rating every time they gain a regen buff or passive. Uh, e every time the defender is struck, they have a 20% chance to passively regen. Uh, this will not trigger if the defender's regen rate is inverted or if the attacker is under the effect of a regen buff or passive in the power shield. Or, well, that path is power shield. Um, okay. Let's see. So, of course, we have the Mr. Sinister boss here as well. I'll probably just throw in... Um, Probably throw in a Warlock. And we'll probably just be good with that. Yeah, I'll put Sunspot on the team. Have some fun in here with him. I think he could be good, right? And yeah, I'll probably take this path. So let's just scout it out real quick. Is that going to be the best path? I don't really care about reducing the boss's health, to be honest. Mm, but I'll go that way. Sure. Okay. Let's grab some champs. Let's do it up. BG, what is prestige used for? Uh, the short answer is that it gives you more points in Alliance Quest. You should not care about it at all until you've done virtually everything in the entire game, uh, solo content-wise. Uh, it's really just an end game stat. 
They give you more points in AQ. Alright, let's put Sunspot, like I said. I want to put Warlock on there for the boss, plus they synergize nicely. So we'll do that. Let's grab Mags. Do I really need anyone else? As far as mutant champions go. I mean, Emma could be fun, right? Let's throw Emma in here. And then let's put uh, Void on the team just as a backup for the boss. Do I care about a backup for the boss? I mean, I have these other guys that can do the boss too, technically. Um... Maybe I don't. If you ask, it doesn't matter to you. But I basically, uh, I hate saying stuff like that because, you know, it sounds like such a jerk thing to say, but it it is true. Um, really should not care about it for a long time. Torch, I was thinking Torch, but I don't know. Horseman Wolverine, so I don't have Apocalypse at all. I think I am going to put Torch in as, as kind of a backup a little bit. I was also thinking, like, if I... It, it might be backup for, for Sasquatch, even. In case I need him for that. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> it's okay, I said it for you. Thanks, dude. GG, <laughs> my new thesaurus is terrible. In fact, it's so bad, I'd say it's terrible. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I hope Sunspot's good for this. God, it's been so long since I got to play Sunspot in a quest that really matters. Let's let's have some fun. Um, I did not need to do that heavy attack right away. Now I like to. Get this going. Let's suck up those incinerates, gain some power. I feel the McFabio inside of me. Feels good. Probably do another special one. I'm not gaining, um, I think I'm not gaining the, uh, what's it called, the, the Furies that well, but it almost like it doesn't really matter, this guy's damage is still nutty, and this sentry is still dead, yep, turns out Sunspot is still really good, okay, good to know. <laughs> Sunspot's damage, dude. It's so good. He's such a cool champ. Uh, Eric. Eric Latax is sending over five, saying, Hey, bro. Uh, cool Sunday challenge. Quick question. Pull the five-star torch. Have a green gem. Uh, use it now or hoard it for potential future void or beardo. So torch, under normal circumstances, does not need to be awakened. Um, I'm going to use Emma for this fight. Torch really does not need to be awakened. There are some situations where it's really nice. The Abyss is one of those situations. But for the most part, you're only using his pre-fight ability like once in a quest. And that's it. Um, so I would recommend saving that gem unless you were ready to tackle something like the Abyss. And if that's the case, then hey, feed that gem. Go for it. You know? Um... But yeah, uh, for the most part, you could just save that thing. I thought Emma would be good for this. Am I mistaken? I thought I'd be gaining Furious because I have the passive. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Seems like I might be. Oh boy. Well, I might have to quit out with this character. Because <laughs> this... This doesn't, this doesn't feel great at the moment. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. Hands were not on my phone. Hope that combo is done. This guy is the longest... Special one in the entire game. Was the only one I... Oh, it's on special hits, isn't it? Oh, I think I had to learn this the hard way last time I was in here, too. Okay. Well, I don't even care anymore. I'm dying. <laughs> Screw this. Um, okay, though. I... I got it now. Is Sunspot going to be good for this? I think he is, right? I don't know the new Daredevil's kit all that well. So I'm a little afraid that this might not work because he's purifying all my stuff. I'm not going to be able to suck up those incinerates. Alright, I'm just going to start counting to seven. Every time I see that guy uh, use his special one from now on. reason I thought he wasn't going to shrug it off that time. Boy, oh boy, was I wrong. Still decent damage. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was too many hits. That's right, I'm leaving gain another fury. I thought I was gonna gain another fury there, but I don't have the prowess. This fight just sucks. <laughs> this daredevil's ruining all my fun that I was about to have with this uh, sunspot. Damn you, Daredevil. He stopped shrugging off at a certain point, right? I thought he did at least. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. These new champs, man. The updates come out so fast, I can't even learn them all. Alright, B. Daniels. Standing over five. Saying, I just bought the Post Cavalier event quest offer. Pretty decent value, IMO, with everything. Thoughts? P.S. Uh, they did block my card. Had to call this morning. Dang, dude. Yeah, no, it is a good value. Um, the the post-cav offer, it is a good value. It's a good value if you're going to make use of all that stuff. That's the thing is, like, you don't always need to use all that stuff. But if you are going to be using all that stuff to get through uh, a quest or explore or whatever, then yeah, the value is great. All right, let's go back to having fun with this guy. We'll get the special ones going. We'll get like two or three special ones. Wow, I did not mean to block that, but okay, sure. Ooh, forgot about Wrath. Whoops. Yeah, this is going to be the last special one. I really got to hit him with a special two now. Let's see if we can bait this. 
Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just, I was like, yeah, maybe this will work. No, it didn't. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh my god, I can't believe I threw this fight. Uh, I'm reviving him, dude. That fight just kind of sucked. If I didn't screw up that uh, that heavy attack at the end there, it would have been fine. But, um, well, I did screw it up. Actually, well, let me... I'll torch this guy first. Oh, I should have pre used pre-fight. I'll torch him, and then I'll uh, I'll resurrect Sunspot for the next one. Uh, but Daniel sent over another buck, though. Thank you, dude. So I still have two abyss paths to do. Okay. Yeah. If you're ready to hop in there and do it, then sure, why not? The boosts alone are are super valuable. Um, I know people pick it up just for that reason, just to have boosts for war and stuff. About to go wrath mode. There it is. Stall a little bit. Maybe I stalled too much. Let's push him back. Can't believe I didn't use my pre fight. What was I saving it for? I need that smolder damage to really come through. Wrath. Okay, we're good to go again. I mean, I guess it is nice for the final phase of his life here to not have pre fight. Um, this way, the despair is there to help cancel out that healing, but it probably wasn't necessary. To throw it, bud. Throw it before you go wrath, please. Before wrath. Nice. Ooh, blocked hit. I'm kind of in a bad spot here. Holy crap. Kill me, Sasquatch. Just want to make it through this fight alive. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, we're good. Whew. Alright. Daniel sent it over another buck, saying Capital One told me, uh, well, he did about seven one hour purchases in about three minutes, and that's why I was blocked. Yeah, dude. Um... I think the first time that ever happened was, uh, f like, I think Frojo did it way back in the day. <laughs> uh, that's why I was I was trying to tell you, like, man, I think you might have done that before, too, but I felt like I saw it coming. All right, let's go back to having some fun here with Sunspot. This is really what I want to do. I just want to have a good time with this guy, and I got messed up these last couple fights because I am a bit rusty with Sunspot. I played the crap out of this guy for like a week, and then after that, I didn't really touch him. But he's so, so strong. 
I just needed a little bit of a, uh, a warm up. No! Damn it! <laughs> oh my god! I thought I parried. Oh my god! I got to be more careful with that. The amount of times I've done that recently. And I'm really not gaining much for the... I think, is there a bug with Voodoo? Where even if he doesn't land the special attack, he reduces your... Um... Your ability accuracy? That's all, I thought that was only when your ability accuracy, or, or when you got hit, that that happened. But my ability accuracy is down right now. Man. Like, I'm going to lose this fight again. I got to get to a special three to gain back my charges because of the misplays. Is that a bug or is that just how he normally works? Uh, it's not a bug. It was always like this, was it? Okay. All right. Well, fair enough then. Just kind of sucks for me, I guess. Dang. I don't have the health to to take another like blocked hit. Of course I evade too early on that. Alright. I don't care. I'm uh Yeah, I don't care. I'm reviving him again. <laughs> I'm getting my sunspot action in today, man. I have no other reasons to use these resources anyway, so whatever. Let's not screw it up this time. I got wrecked by a Voodoo in 6.3 for the same reason. Dang. The first fight with Sunspot today went fine. It feels like after that I just totally lost all ability to play this guy completely. I wish those Furies stacked up faster. At least I got two that time. But they really don't stack up all that quickly. I don't. I shouldn't be doing that medium attack. I don't know why I keep doing the medium attack. Just out of habit, I guess. All right, he's dead for sure. Whew. Dude, Hobbit is going through Abyss faster than you're doing this. I, I don't doubt it, man. This this <laughs> this quest is kind of slow. This is the second to last quest, at least, though. Um. This might be rough with Sunspot. Okay, no armor up. That's good. I knew I was getting hit by that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. I'm about to throw. Oh boy. I'm about to throw in the towel with Sunspot here. <laughs> I swear, dude. It's just not my day for it. It's not my day for it. Alright, let's get to an L2. Let's get him to an L2 and then get me to an L2. Okay, that damage was pretty nice. The rest of this fight's gonna be a little slow, but 
He's already down so low, that's not too bad. Come on, bud. Go to your L1. God, Sunspot's regular damage is so weak, even with these Furies. With the Furies, with the class advantage, it is all specials with Sunspot. Should have hit his block more there. Should kill. Oh, so close. Would you rank three duped six star Namor or six star Professor X? Uh, I would go with Namor because of prestige, but uh, if, you're, if you don't care about prestige, I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to spend more time with Professor X to answer that. But personally, if, if it was on my account, I want that prestige from Namor. So. Okay, let's have an actual good fight, please. One more actual good fight. I only had one this entire quest with Sunspot. I let McFabio down hard in this one. I should have thrown a special one there. I didn't. We got four charges. Finally gained a fury. Let's go one more. Okay, from here I just want to launch a special two. Okay, didn't get the crits I was looking for. Should be able to get back to another special two to finish this off. Yeah, this has got to do it, right? So close. Not quite. Do you like Cosmic Ghost Rider? Uh, I haven't really played Cosmic Ghost Rider much. He seems insane. I would love to pull him. But uh, I don't have much experience with him. I don't have one. First learn to play, champ. Then say them good or bad, Baldi. Uh, yeah, what are you What are you talking about? Because that's what I always do. Um, are you talking about the Namor or, or, or uh, Professor X comment? Because I didn't say either champ was bad. I said I wanted to play Professor X more uh, if I didn't care about Prestige. But Prestige-wise, I'm taking Namor. All right. Let's just go with Warlock here. If Fabio really brought out the Sunspot God and Brian, dude, I, I... I really wanted to bring back the sunspot gameplay just just one quest and it started out so good but then it all went to poop msd okay so it looks like we got to do a few special twos. Not bad. Let's 
Try to stay aggressive. Get through this fight pretty quickly, hopefully. Hopefully I don't get blasted by one of those specials. And then we can move on to the final quest. I never even used the Magneto that I brought here just because I wanted to use Sunspot that bad too. But of course Magneto is good for this quest if uh, you guys are looking for solutions. Assassin's range, and then one more after that uh, is going to be all she wrote. Two more special twos. Come on, bud. Thank you. Okay. There is the assassin range. Well, almost assassin's range. Basically, we'll be at the start of the next special. Not even baiting this out, we're just going. Sweet. Okay. Felt like this boss was the easiest on the path. Might have been. Uh, phones sent over to saying Sunday streams. Oh, happy day. Phones, thank you very much for the two, dude. Yeah, man, I've got one more quest to go in this challenge. Moving on to the final one here. Uh, so, still got a little bit of the Sunday stream left, but... Yeah, we're, we're, we're wrapping things up here, kind of. All right, so I know this one's Mystic, and Mystic champs, they were also good for the boss, I think, right? It's pulling Claire. Dang, a lot of the Mystics I have, I... I don't have, like, a lot of the newer Mystics ranked up. Like, I got this Maw ranked up, but who the hell cares about Maw? Maybe I'll still throw Sim Supreme in there. Hmm. Doom is good for this. Two Star Fury for the boss, BG. <laughs> Do use Two Star Fury for the boss? Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> More like Special 2 is so satisfying. It is pretty satisfying. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mag Magneto for the boss. Okay. Good call, guys. Let me throw Magneto in. Who else do I want to use here? Do I just put Doom on the team? I mean, I don't have to use Doom. I don't want to use Morningstar because I don't want to deal with that ramp up. Magic. Seen a lot of Dooms. I'll just put him on the team. I'll probably try to use the other guys first, but he's only uh, he's only 440. If he was 550, he would have been an auto include. Even at 440, he's so OP that uh, he's probably going to be a great option still. But that's why I was uh, excluding him a little bit there. Um, okay, this path has really easy fights it seems, so we might go that way. Where's the easy path, though? Got a mojo on it. Uh, if I brought magic back into the mix... That path wouldn't be too bad. But, you know, honestly, I think I'm just going to take this path over here. And we'll deal with a little bit of extra health on the boss. How does the mystic node work again? Let's see. Whenever a mystic attacker fills a bar of power, they gain a passive prowess. Um... Okay, increasing special attack by 80%. Nullifying a buff from the defender converts all temporary prowess passive into indefinite ones. Okay. 
Defenders. Uh, oh, wait, we got some some Aegis on this. Aegis Intercept. Okay. Uh, kinetic Transference, too. Uh, defenders under the effect of Unstoppable become stunned and immune. This includes Unstoppable effects triggered outside this node. Okay. In 15 seconds, the Defender gains an Unstoppable buff. Okay. So we can watch Man for that. Man loves beats. Um... Yeah, we could do some intercepting over here. That's not too bad. Compared to over here where you don't have to do that stuff. Maybe I should just put magic on the team and go this way, though. The more I think about it... Mm, I'm going to do that. Who do I take off, though? My Sim Supreme's not maxed out. I think I'm just going to cut him, put magic on the team... I'll take that top path. I will uh, power control that mojo, and we'll just go that way. I think that's going to be the play. Okay, let's do it to it. Uh, Connor Pacman's and in over three. Thank you, dude, saying, hey, BG, do you still play drums? If so, could we ever see a vid? I don't really play drums anymore. I, I really miss it like crazy, man. Every day I think about drumming and I'm not kidding. Like I used to wake up and play drums every single day. Um, so yeah, I still think about it. I still watch videos uh, and I still like air drum, <laughs> but couple problems one the, the apartment i'm in right now is is actually so small that i don't have a good spot to even set up my drums and then uh i, I always feel like i'm bothering the people you know and like the surrounding units kind of thing too um the place i lived in, in new jersey was actually like pretty good for um let's do scarlet witch Pretty good in terms of not, like, having sound go through the walls. It's pretty well insulated. So I, I felt more comfortable playing there. Whereas here, I, I definitely don't feel that way. Um, this will be a little bit of fun. Use the Scarlet Witch. I hope. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know. They're, they're, I'm not saying it's totally out of the question to ever see me <laughs> drum. Uh, I did have one idea for something, but it's um, probably not going to happen, so crap. I didn't mean to get to an L3 here. All right. But yeah, man, uh, my goal, one of my goals in life is eventually to, to get a place where I can actually play drums again. Because um, not only is it just one of the most fun things to do for me... But it was, it was like, my way of exercising. Like, obviously, it's different than, like, lifting weights. So I'm not getting stronger playing drums. But, like, cardio-wise. And, um... That was a good hit. And, um... I don't know, just, just the fact that I was doing it every single day. Something to keep me more active. Compared to now, where I don't... Ooh, let me use spell too. too. Dang, man. When these don't crit, they don't do much for damage. Please. Crit. Might have to use a different champ here. Scarlet Witch. Got Medusa. I mean, all, all she can do is auto block. And not stun. See, there was a 93k crit. Why couldn't I get that more? Only five fights on this path anyway. I mean, five more fights. So, we'll be done with this soon enough anyway. GG, any advice of getting good luck in mutant and skill dual class crystals? Love from India. No way to increase it, man. You just gotta keep going. Just keep plugging away. Let's try Scarlet Witch one more time here. Just gotta keep at it. Were you supposed to soundproof your room with discarded banana peels? I was, yeah. Uh, and I'm working on it, but just one banana at a time. It's going to take a long time to soundproof the entire place, you know? <laughs> you 
Hmm. I'm not really digging Scarlet Witch for this. Maybe it's the quest. I don't know. I'm gonna get those prowess up too. Whoops. How do those convert again? Converted them last time without thinking. Is it on nullify? I gotta reread that node. Okay. Guess we got a crit there. Yeah, I think I'm retiring Scarlet Witch after this fight. Let's bring in some other champs. Yeah, we got another good crit there at least, though. Okay. She really needs that extra attack. Uh, in that, uh, what's it called? In Assassin's range. That was a really nice crit, but until I got there, kind of meh. I mean, I guess it is a four-star champion at the end of the day. Like, I, I don't know what I'm expecting, but all right, let's see. So, okay, nullifying a buff from the defender converts all temporary prowess into indefinite ones. Okay. All right, so it is buff nullification. All right. This uh, this fight is going to be nasty, probably, but hopefully it's not too bad. I could, I mean, I'm sure Doom can handle this fight, too. Crap, I didn't mean to dex there. I think I'm gonna win this fight. <laughs> My confidence is not very high. It's not easy to lock down fully with the uh, unstoppable, and now I just gain precision. Oh boy, there comes the damage. That's gonna be a wrap for me. All right. Yeah. All right. Doom, save me, Doom. I gotta rank this guy up for future four-star challenges. Um, but I've been needing all of my, my Mystic Tier 4 class catalyst for the higher ranked dudes, of course. Trying to... Oh, come on. So close. No! And I thought I could pop my special there. No! The degen. Oh my god. This is why I didn't want to take this path. I feel like my entire team is about to get wiped out by this man. Is not great. Use Magneto for him. Could use Magneto for this guy. He's got a lot of health left. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm just gonna kill myself with all these dexes. Do 
doing whatever damage I can at this point, but I'm dead. Um. Alright, we'll try Magneto in here. Thought I was going to be able to get through him with magic, but that unstoppable was really kind of rough to deal with. Push him to L2. Okay, thank you, perfect block. Oh no. Okay, got lucky. <laughs> I'm just letting it rip. Screw it, dude. And this, I don't think this is going to kill him. The bleed afterwards, uh, I think, will. Actually. But... I'm going to have to wait a little... No, 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 no. Oh, God. I'm dead. No. No, <laughs> the unstoppable. Don't use it, friend. Don't use it. <laughs> no. Well, that's that. Dang. Thought it actually was going to kill him. You're making him stronger the more you die? I know. But uh, there's not much I can do about it at this point. Like, I could back out of this quest. And honestly, on honestly if I wasn't streaming, I probably would have just backed out of the quest at this point. And uh, either swapped my team around a little bit, went on this the same path, or just picked a different path. And uh, I mean, Mojo is the only issue here. Now I'm not paying attention to this fight, and of course I'm getting destroyed. Mojo is the only issue here. Um. So, the smart thing to do would be to back out. But, we've only got three fights left, and... Usually people don't like, uh, <laughs> to, to see me back out of quests. Jefferson Cooper, sending over bucks, saying, What do you do when you have 20 5-star 6-stone crystals, but no 5-star champion? You save those 6-stone crystals. You will eventually get a 5-star. Um, just don't use them yet. Hold on to those things, and uh, eventually you'll make great use of them when you pull some five stars. Uh, but for right now, there's nothing you can do except just just keep playing, keep uh, growing your roster. Yeah, let's get some good life steal going. Oh, got clipped. Keep stealing that life though. Claire is gonna save the day here. Healthy, let's switch to damage mode. Crap, it went unstoppable. Didn't have my special two thing up. Uh, which means I also did not go to damage mode. I'll get there next.
Okay, damage mode. The only crappy part about using Claire for a quest like this is that her secondary damage doesn't get amplified. Otherwise, God, she'd be such a monster for it. But the, I mean, the life steal is still great. So overall, she's still great. Wow. Not enough? Yeah, it's plenty. Okay. We got like two more fights left. People don't like to watch you back out. How many viewers on your 6.2 itemless runs again? Uh, there was a lot, but so many of them hated it. <laughs> Trust me, a lot of them hate it. For a quest, I mean, for a quest like this, it's not that big of a deal. I'm not using the items anywhere else anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, the only reason I even say that I would back out is is really just if someone's newer to the game in here and maybe they could listen to that advice and be like, oh, you know what? Backing out of a quest, that is not a bad idea. I can try again and go through without using items. But right now, it doesn't really matter that I'm using items because I have no other content to use them on anyway. That's why I was just kind of blowing them on uh, Sunspot instead of using my other champs that were alive. Alright, I want to heal one more time. And then I think I'm going to go damage mode. I'm going to get some more prowess too, though. Specials. I'm not doing that much at the moment. I need to wait. I could time things better to make those prowess go indefinite. Um, at the moment, I'm not doing that. Can I just hit into her when she's unstoppable? With Claire? I'm scared to find out. This is one of those instances where I really wish I had Suicide Masteries on, too. You heal so much with Claire that it doesn't really matter taking a little bit of that recoil damage, you know? But the extra attack is very noticeable. Uh, especially when you amplify that with the prowess. Okay, there we go. It did, did just nullify it. So I think I could have just been attacking into her the whole time, right? You can, but dash back quickly. Oh, is that what you have to do? Seemed to work out just now. Oh, yeah, you do have to dash back quickly. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I figured I was at the end of the, uh, end of Silex life here. I might as well try it. But, okay. Got it. You nullify on hit with Claire is a thing, but... Yeah, I guess for that one attack remaining, they're still able to get you. Alright, last fight before the final boss. I am going to want to get some lifesteal before switching. Let's do that. He 
He's going to synthesize in a sec here. Let's wait that out. There we go. So, a lot of people are probably familiar with how Clara works, but for those who don't, whenever you use your special 2, you put a, a debuff on the opponent that makes them immune to gaining buffs. Oh, no! No! Started rambling! Don't pop your special 2... Or don't pop your special 3. If I can get to my special 2, I can drain your power. No! I started rambling about Claire's abilities and forgot to watch for synthesis. What's up, Blast Arnian? Hey, BG, I think apologies are in order. I find that I have the reflexes of a fighter pilot when it comes to the <laughs> skip ad button. Dude, you could you could skip any ad you want, man. <laughs> You've more than uh, covered it. Um... I guess, I guess let's get Claire back in. Right. Yeah, let's get Claire back in. Sure, why not? I'll throw my last lesser love juice. Synthesis isn't a buff, BG. I know, man, I know. Should've been doing heavy attacks with Claire. Yeah, I guess I would've got to a special quicker. I, I guess that will help with the prowess too, huh? You're right, I should be doing heavy attacks this whole time. Get to the specials, get to the prowess. Good call. God, that synthesis scared me again. Use it, bud. Thank you. All right, let's switch modes, though. This was unnecessary. Just wanted to stay in this mode. We'll get the prowess faster. I'll have the powers or the life steal to rely on in case I screw something up again. Nah, screw it. Go incinerate mode. Even though it doesn't scale with the node, it's still like an extra, I don't know, 7,000 damage or something like that. So I'll take what I can get. I think the other path would have been easier. If I can go back in time. I figured it would be. All right, let's watch for synthesis again. There we go. Perfect. Use it right after synthesizing. Vision. How do you know? It's exactly what I wanted you to do. Okay. Let's wait out synthesis. Get some life steal. I wait on that synthesis. There it is. Oof, that's some good life steal right there, man. special two. That's all I need. Yeah. Full yellow bar. Oh! Not dead? There we go. 
Okay, moving on to the final boss of this challenge. Uh, AJ Claw, MCOC, sent over 17 DKK saying, BG, can you check Twitter? Sure. What do we got here? You could say I'm a fan of this champion? Ooh, dude. The six star I bomb took him to rank three. That is awesome, man. This guy is so cool. Uh, ooh, you give him the generic? You did give him the generic. Dude. Okay, man. <laughs> yeah, you weren't kidding when you said you were a fan. That's awesome. I still really want I bomb. I can't even pull the, the, the champion I helped create. Then again, I never... Uh, I haven't gone for featured crystals, so... Are they always easiest? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. Node-wise, but champion fight-wise. Live in North America, BG? I do. In the Seattle, Washington area. Okay. Um, I might as well throw Claire at this first. But uh, I was planning on using Magneto for this fight, so... Let me, let me see what I could do with Claire first. And then I'll probably revive Mags. Let's bait this out. Okay. Oh, that's right. I got to remember that healing thing. Stay away because of the healing. Even though I guess that buff prevention would have... Yeah, the buff immunity would have worked there too, so... I always think his heavy attack is going to be more than one hit like that, but it's not. Alright, so... My buff immunity failed. So he did heal. Okay. Hit it. Freaking psycho, man. This guy really does no damage in this quest, even. So I guess I could solo this fight. I just have to watch for the... the heal. And then, yeah, I guess Claire will kind of wreck this, huh? Keep baiting L1s. Keep watching for the heal. I could just stay in damage mode. No, 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 the heal. I gotta get back, I gotta go back. Okay, good. Took a few hits there. Ability accuracy reduction, man. Okay. And the damage is just so slow, though. Can't let him heal. Mm. Do some distance with a heavy. Got the L2. Starting to get there. Only 400 more L2s to go. 
And we got this. I'm trying to think if hitting his block would be helpful. Because he has the explosive personality. I guess I can't give him when he's uh, got buff immunity, but during other times, before I pop my special too, might actually be good to hit his block. That was not what I was talking about, though. Oh, wait, there we go. Actually did work out. All right, so if I hit his block a bit, I can gain more power because of Mystic Dispersion. Essentially speed up the fight. A little bit risky. I might end up getting myself killed doing it. But, um, I think I'm willing to give it a try. In the right moment, at least. Get some distance. Get away from the heal. Man, got him down to 50. <laughs> this fight is so long. This was with the path giving him less health. The heal permanently gone? Well, that's possible. But yeah, it looks like the heal's permanently gone. Okay. And that heal was kind of helping me. Um, I don't know if that was a good thing necessarily. cycle back around to get some healing. Alright, the strategy of giving him armor ups intentionally. Um, I'm gonna stay away from that right now. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea. Should hit him one more time there too. I guess it's fine. Alright, let's gain some health. Oof. There's not a lot of health gain. Dude, I missed my free heal. Hmm. Alright, I guess I can't really heal against this guy because of the heal block. Um, or I can't rely on it, I should say. So I'm just going to go back to damage mode. Ooh, I thought I got clipped. Still alive. 30%, almost in that assassin's range. Crap. Wanted to get the uh, incinerate, but I was gaining too much power. percent Let's 
Gonna put him in assassins. Percent. I need like two more special twos. I only have eight percent health though, man. I'm trying to get him to throw a heavy. There we go. Oh! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hanging on. God, each parry takes so much out of me. Okay, what's this gonna bring him down to? 2%. I think if I do a 5 hit combo in a special one. Or I guess I have that little bit of power gain going right now. Let's, let's ride that out. I tried to wait for when he was dashing at me. That was it. That was it. That was everything. Alright. Well, let's finish it up. I don't think I need to heal. <laughs> choked. Definitely choked. Oh, man. Big time choke. That was gonna be it. Okay. All right. Well, the four-star challenge is finally complete. Good lord! It took three hours and twenty-two minutes. That was a long time. Um. That was a very long time. Look at that. We got four tier two uh, ISO bricks. That's nice. <laughs> No, but uh, the real reward is is just the the ten percent tier five class catalyst. This is this is what it was all about. Um, this ten percent right here. Get to claim that it's not going to do anything for me right now, but in the future it definitely will do something for me. And uh, yeah, man, that was the only reason to do that. Actually, there was an event going on right now too, like the solo event quest completion. Yeah, so got points towards that. Got. Got some units back from the energy refills that I spent um, units on. Still came out as a loss, probably, but, you know, there's that. Whew. Okay. That was a long, uh, long quest. All right. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything to, to, to pop open. But if you guys want to watch rewards get opened... Hobbit is on his final abyss path right now. Guys, if we could do the biggest raid of our lives. He has 42 people in there right now on his final abyss run. He started four hours ago. I don't know what he's up to right now. Actually, let me let me see. He's currently fighting Hood. Um, I can't remember exactly where that is in the path, but he would love it. If we did a monster banana raid. Hit him with that hashtag uh, banana raid. And cheer him on for the final path if you guys could. Um, shout out to Leo for being today's biggest D. And I'll be back in about 8 hours and 20 minutes. But seriously, nice. We already have him over 100. Keep going, guys. Get that over 200 if we can. Uh, or, pff, dude, if we can get over 300 even. Because that 140 right now. Go, 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 go. 
158. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go join in as well. So thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out. I will see you guys later tonight. All right, later, everybody. To Hobbits!